How's it going, train guys and gals? Gus here. Got a project I want to work on today. I'm out here in the garage going to uh, do a little work. Uh, I always figure that uh, your train, your model train layout is good as the details. I like the details. And today we're going to do a project. You can buy these online. Uh, but I want to show you how to make something for practically next to nothing. Reduce, reuse, recycle. We're going to be friends with Mother Earth today and uh, help reduce some of the landfill. A lot of you remember these or <laughs> recognize these. Windshield wipers on your cars. Back and forth. Car, truck. And uh, I saved some of these. Had a friend save some for me. My kids off their cars. We're going to take those and make some concrete barriers. A lot of them you'll see will start to be uh, frayed like this. That's what we want. If it's already frayed, then you're already ahead of the game. If not, you can take your razor knife and break apart the top of it. And then you can just peel it off. Just peels off like that. That broke off. Lost a little bit. But that's what we're going to work with right there. If you tear it apart, you end up with this monster piece versus this piece right here. This monster piece here can still be used, but you've got to separate the top from the bottom. And again, just pulls apart. There's a tough piece there. Pulls apart, and what you end up with is a concrete barrier. Let's do some work here. All right, now that we've got our our pieces taken off, and you'll see from some of the close-ups I'll have is the shape of these are just exactly like the concrete barriers. And what you'll find, if you do some research, you'll find out that they're about six inches across, 36 inches down, 24 inches across on the base. And these here scale out to be just about that exact. This one here scales out to be eh, 32 inches. All right, let's, <clears throat> let's, get into, uh, let's get into making some barriers. Uh, in a picture before you saw that there were two different sizes I wanted to measure those out right now the larger one ends up 0.3 inches 0.3 in N scale is 48 inches tall 0.3 in HO scale is 26 inches tall so this larger one here is a 48 inch barrier or a 26 inch barrier the smaller one works out to be scales to be 0 0.2. 0 0.2 is 32 inches in N scale. So this one works just fine in N scale unless you need a taller barrier. Some of them are. There's a 48 inch barrier, but for today we're just going to worry about cutting the uh, the smaller one here, the smaller size. Now you can cut this with with just about anything you want. <clears throat> Safety knife, scissors, those all work. I want to have a straight down cut so it's a square end. I'm going to use a uh, regular razor blade. I got my end scale ruler, put down a piece of uh, painter's tape, mark this at 10 foot intervals, and so that's where I'm going to cut it. All you have to do is just push down on it. So you just have a nice square piece. Yeah, get down there. There we have we have eight. There's there's ten, and I think that's what a package is in is online. You can get you can buy ten of these for for about eight dollars plus some shipping, and uh, you know there's nothing wrong with that. 
I just wanted to show you a, a different way, a way that I had discovered. And what we'll end up doing here, I think that I'll have about 25 pieces when I get done with this one wiper. So 25 uh, concrete barriers for practically nothing. Just had to get the wiper and a little bit of uh, gray paint in a few minutes. A little bit of sanding them up to make sure they're flat. But um, there we go. I've got about 25 barriers. Now I can get ready and get them painted. Let's do a few things and finish this up. Uh, in addition to the barriers, and you'll see some pictures here, there are those that are on an angle, keep the vehicle from smashing right up against the abutment. So I took a razor blade, just trimmed it down on an angle there, and uh, we've got a few of them here that will be the ends to the center pieces. So cut some that way. I also found in real life, there are some that are that are very short, much shorter than than the other ones. So, made a couple of shorter ones there. I also experimented with the color, and I did this in a in a an almond. I didn't really like the way that it came out, so went back to my uh, my favorite, just a gray primer. Love the gray primer. All right, so we're gonna paint the rest of these, paint these all. One thing that you wanna do, because they're light and the spray from the can will send them off like in a hurricane, use a piece of uh, painter's tape. Flip it over, put it down on, the, on your surface, and then just take them and stick it to it. That way, they don't go anywhere. Just gonna get all these put down here. Found also some pieces uh, from another wiper that were just beat up. I mean, they're just beat up, and you'll see one of the pictures I have shows uh, the deteriorated concrete. So these will work out as well, being realistic in uh, the concrete's just dying and falling apart. So we're gonna get all these put on here and go get go get them painted. It's like that, they don't go anywhere. All right, now that we got them painted, um, they're not all pretty from the factory, or they're not pretty after they've been out on the road for a while. And I found that kind of the best way for me to do it, instead of like a Sharpie or something, is just a, a pencil. And uh, because it's not gonna give it the highlights, it's not gonna give it the, the sharp, looking uh, black details. We want it to just have some gray, we want it to have some overtones. Uh, so just gonna make a few of them, put a few marks on it. Kinda hard to see, but uh, by adding those on there, it will, it will make them look a little bit different and like they've been there for a while. One thing that you do wanna be careful with if you're making these, it is rubber, it will bend. The, the paint is not, so you can destroy your paint job if, uh, if you do too much bending and uh, twisting around. There you go, I've lost half the paint off of, off of this one here. So just wanna be careful when you're, using, when you're weathering them, when you're moving them around, when you're pulling them off here. 
uh, if you do bend them you're gonna lose some of your paint all right I want to show you a few examples what these uh, Jersey barriers what these concrete barriers can do in your layout some of you might remember this scene from a video I did on the uh, blinking police truck the lights on the police truck there but this is just down the road in front of them the Jersey barriers the concrete barriers blocking off the lane of traffic we got a slide area there in the left center left and they're doing some road work got to have some barriers the delineator cones are a different story <laughs> different project I love that one but there we've got those concrete barriers lining up right along here to uh, protect the lanes of traffic there we go we got this short stubby concrete barriers at work protecting the crossing buck here at this uh, intersection making sure cars coming down the road from the right don't uh, swing too far out and take out our crossing lights here there's the short stubbies now here we've got a couple of them hard at work out here in front of the fuel storage facility out near the uh, mining operation uh, we don't want anybody coming down this dirt road and running into our tanks so there on the right hand side is one of the sloped ones you can see those other two there in the middle and the on the end they've been there for a while and gotten beat up and, and broken up they haven't been weathered properly but you can see that they're in place and uh, protecting the storage tanks here we are track side at the end of the dirt road We've got our maintenance away trailer now the box car with a second life and it's been graffitied we've got it here being protected by these jersey barriers you can see them a little bit weathered a little bit dirtier a little bit dustier but uh, on the job protecting our box car here we've got a couple barriers protecting the leading edge of the sand pit don't want anybody tumbling down the hill so we've got some concrete barriers here protecting that edge <laughs> ah, thanks for tuning in everybody i appreciate it uh thanks for your comments thanks for liking thanks for subscribing to my channel i appreciate that i enjoyed doing this little project and like i said i don't know that anybody's done this one before uh, yeah, I hope this helped give you ideas for uh, scenery on your layout, uh, little details. I love the details. It makes it come to life. I have a lot of work to do here on my layout still, but uh, I'm enjoying it one little piece at a time. Leave me a comment. Uh, check in. Let me know how it's going on your layout. I, I appreciate that. Uh, might even make these available for sale. Uh, some of you don't have the ability to get uh, windshield wipers <laughs> and make the project uh, contact me I'll uh, see what I can do see if we can work something out for you thanks again appreciate your time